Johnny, you must be bitterly disappointed giving up the three points in the way that we did today. I'll be honest, that was, I felt like a stab in the back, that one. I felt real painful. I think we played, played well, certain parts of the game. I think that just shows that we still have a lot to improve on, literally. I think we defended well at times, we attacked well at times, but we've got to do that for 90 minutes, 90 plus minutes, and we didn't do that today. And we, um, we got punished for it. And uh, it's a tough one to take, man, but you know, I'm a positive guy. Well, I try to be positive even in dark moments, so I think you just got to look at it, try and take as much positive as possible. Come away with a point, away from home, after a bad run of away um, um, defeats, so. I think going forward now, after the international break, I think we should knuckle down and get back to winning ways, man. What are some of those areas that you think that we do need to improve on, particularly in those games away from home? I personally think it's game management. I think we need to know when to calm the game down and play to our tempo and when to up the tempo and um, press them high. But we're still figuring that out. Just little lazy moments of lack in quality and we get punished for it. So that's football, isn't it? We just got to minimise the mistakes and uh, try and see the game out. And of course, we'd over 3,000 Norwich fans at the UA in there today. Does that make it even harder to take? Yeah, I feel sorry for the fans sometimes, man. It's, it's hard, obviously, coming all this way, travelling. God knows how they've got here, but obviously, us players, we, we respect the fans for making an effort to come and support us. and. Uh, we obviously want to give a performance to make them proud. And uh, fortunately, we didn't do that today. But luckily, it wasn't worse. We, we didn't lose. Um, should have won, but uh, we just got to make sure we correct that next game.